right, so last video we said that we were going to do the uh, Bilstein Universal Motorsports strut. And uh, just a little change of plans. So basically we're going to make like an old school, um, kind of it's kind of like a weld on uh, with the, uh, the strut insert. And this is a uh, KYB AGX uh, from an MR2, pretty common with the Toyota guys. Uh, I'm not sure other people probably do that too. But uh, so basically what we got just slides in here. And then I'm gonna weld that, that. It's got a uh, if you've never seen these kind before, basically. You just would uh, go down and bolt it up and it just holds the whole thing together. And then there you go, there's your uh, coil over. But at the shop today, just made a jig, just some pipe I had laying around, so this will slide nice and tight on there, this will slide like that, and then there's no movement and I can weld it together, so uh, yeah, let's go do that. The only downfall is these can't come off of the top, which uh, doesn't really matter, I mean I doubt these would get screwed up, that would probably take a very long time. Um, so yeah, we just can't take these off. Not too worried about it. Okay. And just, uh, we got this. And this is from, <laughs> from the Starlet. But I was never going to actually use these. They were for just for mock-up. So I stole the, um, the camber plates. And then this. And we're not going to use the top plate, but we will use this. The adjuster, the pillow ball, whatever you call that. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'll just, uh, I'll cut, I'll get a, this quarter inch, I think, and I'll just cut this out on the uh, mill to make the plate, and there we go. So, uh, we're going to get these welded together, and then, uh, yeah, whatever happens, happens. Good. I thought I had um, welded through into my jig. I didn't think I was going to, um, but for a second I was like, "Oh my God, no! <laughs> How are we gonna get that out?" But there's that, and then we'll uh, we'll clean all this up and paint it. So it welded up pretty good, but just to be safe, I'm gonna run a second pass over it, um, especially since these bottom threads don't matter anymore because we're not gonna be able to spin this all the way off anyway. So. I might as well just uh, get it nice and good because it was a little thin right there, not bad, but um, once we go to the top of this thread, it'll be about as thick as it is. Let's do it. Ah, the baby's ain't going anywhere. The other one turned out better. Right, how'd he do? So, we got our uh, top hat here, our camber plate. Um, I had to, I welded these holes shut. These are just, you know, cheapo max speeding rods, you know, the good stuff. Um, <laughs> welded these shut, drilled new holes, popped these back in, so. We have camber plates. Okay, okay, okay. So boom. And uh, yeah, these are from the Starlet. So these are the 240SX ones. Now, don't don't fret on the Starlet. These were never going to be what we used. Um, they were just for mock-up. So ripping them apart and putting the camber plates on here, I mean, really is a win-win. And then we've got so I had some thoughts and that. You've got, this is the <clears throat> original one, this is the 240SX uh, coilover, and 
this shaft is the same size and this has the, uh, uh, the oil seal in it. Now, with our other shock, if we really ever wanted to, and I'd have to do some research and find out if you can even get the parts, but we could really build our own shock. Um, I'm not sure how easy it is to get parts. I imagine it's not that easy, um, but it's a thought. And uh, that would be kind of cool to build your own shock. And Oh my god, this thing keeps shutting off on its own. I don't know why. Very annoying. Um, yeah, that's about that. Waiting for paint to dry. Uh, once the paint is dry, we're going to assemble this and uh, yeah, we'll slap her in there. Well, I ran out of tape to make these fit tight. And uh, this actually sound seems weird uh, to do that, but it is normal. Uh, you can use O-rings or tape, but um, I mean, you make it just super tight, so when it jams in there, it's not going to move. Um, but yeah, time to go get more tape. Okay, so a little trick you want to do once you get this fitting all nice and tight. Um, it's going to be pretty much airtight, so you're going to want to cut a little slot just so the air can slip past. It's going to make it go in way, way easier. Um, and then I've got a little bit of uh, white lithium grease, so it'll slide in just a little easier. Cool. Okay, so here's the issue that we ran into. It's probably something I should have saw coming. It's pretty simple, really. So, basically, we'll just put these right here. So right there, those are lined up. And then you come down here, and you can see that strut should slide down all the way to the bottom of this, which is where it would be. Um, and it's actually shorter. So this is the length, actually the length. So let's say we put it right here. These are lined up, put it right here. So this is what we, we want this, we don't want that, which is kind of how it is um, mounted to the uh, spindle. So basically, I think this should work. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to have to cut these off, grind them down to where it's smooth, uh, be a little bit of work, not that big of a deal, and then I should be able to thread this on, because thread this down, it, I did it earlier, It'll, it will come off and thread back on, so I'll have to check the other side, but we can make it work for sure. But basically, by allowing this to come up, I can put my, my tabs higher up, allow this to come down, and we won't be basically bottoming out the strut while we try to lower it. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna get to cutting these off. Uh, I'm just gonna do one, uh, and hope, hope it works. <laughs> okay, so I've cut off the uh, mounting tabs here, smoothed it out, and I think that uh, it's only welded on the bottom. I think it slipped on and it was welded on the bottom. So if I cut it around here, I think I'll be able to pry it off. Um, but I don't know, so we'll see. All right, so we got it off. It's like I thought. Cut around, and then I just cut the uh, other side of it in half, and it just peeled right off. It's on the ground. Not too bad. So I just got to smooth this out, clean it all up. Um, yeah, so I I'm not sure. I don't know if this bottom cap is part of the sleeve. So I don't, well, I, I'm not sure. That's the thing. I just don't know. Um, so I'm just going to grind this down until I can put that over it, and then we'll see what we do. All right, so yeah. We got it all cleaned up. Still going to clean up the bottom a little bit more, but uh over but um, I still need to knock this bottom out so it can go up higher so check it out so we go see it peeks through the bottom and that'll allow us to set the ride height right so cool 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 I uh, just got to do the other one, and then I'll probably make, well, I probably will, um, I will, <laughs> I'm going to make some tabs, um, and that will also allow us, because we were having a little camber issue, um, I think we were probably at zero, but that's all we could go, so when we make these tabs, we're going to have to mock it up and see, um, see how much, uh, put, it, put the camber plate at zero, and then that way we can get a pretty good idea of 
uh, how offset the tabs need to be. Let's do it. Yo! Alright, so we've been messing around. Brackets made, made a spacer. And then we got this guy, we just cleaned it up. And uh, we're just going to go weld it up. So, pew, pew, pew. Good, and then we'll do the other one. And yeah, cool beans. Play. Okay. So I just tacked it and laid a little bead on it, each side. Um, and then we're going to test fit it just to make sure that everything's good. I'm pretty sure it will be, but I just want to know for sure. So we'll let that cool off, and then we'll uh, put it back together. Or we'll just slide it on or get the thing together. So, yeah. All right, fellas. So we got her all done, painted. These are done, ready to go. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to... Assemble them and we'll slap them on. set her on the ground. Alright, well, that's it. Thanks for watching.